What's going on, guys? My name is Garrett from the Jobless Gamers, and I'm here with Mr. Boss for the win. Hello. The Saints fan. What is up? And today we're doing Squadcast episode 25. That's a lot of episodes, guys, and I'm glad you guys have been enjoying them. This is our weekly series we do every single Saturday. It's a podcast that covers general gaming, GTA 5, and GTA Online DLC and news. And, Ross, what are our topics this week? Uh, we are going to be talking about the Flight School update, obviously the San Andreas Flight School update, something that came out today, or excuse me, this week. We're going to be talking about some leaked weapons, including a thermite bomb and a flare gun. We're also going to be talking about a really weird male stripper leak, which oh, I know. Maybe. A few, yeah, 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 we're, really weird. I yeah, know that's the one Austin's excited for. Yeah, oh, maybe, it's yeah. getting hot in here. <laughs> and then obviously we're going to talk about uh, Speakpipe, which is your questions that you sent it or you send it, and we give you guys a good answer. So that's what's on the schedule for today. So I'm pretty excited for this episode, Austin. Let's take let's have you take the first topic of the Flight School DLC. Yep. What are your thoughts? about the changes, the additions, the removals of everything that came with the San Andreas Flight School, and then we'll just go from there. Yeah, so I think um, the Flight School, unfortunately, it definitely was not one of the best updates or DLCs. Now, obviously, there's some people who were, like, super excited for this that, you know, flew jets all the time, and this was, like, you know, their thing. But for a lot of us, we don't fly jets or do this stuff that often. It's just something that happens every now and then. So that's why I think, like, the, the big thing was, you know, a lot of people weren't too um, uh, excited about, or not excited about it, but it didn't really last too long, but, uh, you know, I think it did some good things with the patch, which I'm definitely kind of excited for, you know, nail missions, whether, or, like, rooftop rumble kind of sucks now, but at least there's going to be more variety, which is better in the long run, instead of just playing rooftop rumble over and over again, so overall, I think... I would give it maybe like a B minus C plus. Ooh, that's generous for me. Yeah. Really? Wait. So wait. Out of ten, what would you rate it? That's a C. Out of that's 10, like a seven like or an eight. Six. I would even say six or maybe yeah, even. Six, five eight, and a half seven. or six. Because the stuff was really cool. Like, don't get me wrong. The Bezra and the Miljet, like having fifteen of your friends, like that's awesome. But the longevity sucks. It's like I'm I'm not gonna do that for very long before I'm bored or you know disinterested in what's going on. So. I, I personally think that the stuff that came with the DLC was really cool. I think that the Besra, the Swift, the Miljet, you know, the new flight suit, all those things, the missions, the flight school were really cool, but it's just so expensive. I think that the general population of GTA Online players just could not afford most of the stuff that was added in this recent DLC or patch 1.16. And in my personal opinion, if I were to rate it on a 1 to 10, it would have to be at least a 6, maybe even a lower, just because I feel bad for those that just can't afford it. And especially if you can't afford cash cards in real life or don't have time to farm missions. It's it's almost like like this DLC didn't exist. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. literally. There's nothing you can participate in this DLC if you didn't have any money in game or in real life to spend for cash cards. So Yeah, and and the thing that sucks is like most or pretty much all the other DLCs, you only needed to buy one shark card. That's twenty bucks. And that's kinda reasonable, you know, I get their DLCs are free, but if you are, you know, busy with school, work, whatever 20 bucks for a DLC, that's what normally DLCs cost for any other game. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that'd be fair. But this one, you needed to buy, like, the, the what is it, like, $60 <laughs> worth of shark cards for everything. So that's where it definitely got kind of uh, kind of out of hand, I think. But, but overall, did you like the things that were added? Like, let's say price was an issue. Did you like the things that were added in terms of just what Rockstar decided to do for this past DLC? I think it was lacking. Like... It definitely could have. They could have added more. And that was I definitely something I saw a lot too. Like yeah, everyone people, saying it's lacking. Mm-hmm, a lot of people were really disappointed that, you know, yeah, they did add these vehicles, but normally we would get weapons, we would get a bunch of clothes, we would get you know masks, we would get haircuts, all this other stuff, and we only got we got one flight suit. And that's that's one of the things I addressed in a video I did uh, the other day where. In the trailer for the GT5 San Andreas Flight School update, you saw a lot of clothes that we don't have in the game available to us. So there was a big consensus that, wow, we're getting all this new clothes, we got some new pants, maybe we can take off our shirt, and people were automatically thinking, oh, we can go to the gym and work out, which that wasn't the case, of course. But like there was a lot of people just speculating off the trailer. And I guess people overhyped it for themselves. Like, oh my god, we're going to have this amazing DLC. Mm-hmm. And then when it finally came out, they were like, oh man... 
This is not what I was looking forward to. Yeah, I, I think the, that the was DLC was definitely gen. the DLC was definitely overhyped. Yeah, like, it was overhyped, and I think it was Ross. I personally like because did you see the abs and the boobs on that girl well, guy? Like, right. come on well, now. No, I think that actually happens because I don't know a lot of people because I tweeted that out when the when it you know when the uh, trailer came out and people were saying it didn't like the lighting just wasn't it didn't look as good as you would hope for it to be on next gen. But it just looked. It looked really nice. It, it was looked definitely too good for an Xbox 360. It was, yeah, it was definitely doctored more than we have available to us on mm -hmm, Xbox 360. Sure. There was definitely some extra things because it was just too fluid. I mean, even when we record content, we have to color correct the hell out of our video sometimes because the gamma's just really off or it yeah. just doesn't look as good on our computers that we would see it on Xbox 360. Just like bring it over to your PC just doesn't look that great. No matter what capture card you do, and every YouTuber, for the most part, always color corrects. I'm sure you guys do as well, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because it it just doesn't look very nice. Like it doesn't look attractive. And like if you look at any of my videos in the past, from like when GTA 5 first came out, you can see the difference from now to back then. It looks like I'm playing a different game because it's just so different. But I think that the Fly School update could have had more. But I really do appreciate the fact that Rockstar went ahead and added new missions. Because i got to give it to them. There's a lot of new missions that they added. There is, yeah, for sure. Like and, a and ton. That's, that's one of the things that, although the DLC part wasn't the greatest, but, like, the, the patch part, I kind of think it was definitely, you know, pretty good. Because the new missions, the mission payouts, um, they added a, a feature, just, you know, a little thing where a tank now appears as a different icon on the map. So you know that it's just a D-bag freaking killing everybody so you can... <laughs> Get around him. Um, now, I will say, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, and if anybody follows me on live stream, you know how mad I get when it freaking happens to me. When you hit up on the D-pad twice, Oh my your god, stupid that's not camera. Oh my Who god, that's in their right sucks. mind made that? The only reasons you get your camera is to go up to contacts or to go down to the internet or the camera. So freaking why would they make it so where you hit the damn up button and you well, go to the camera? It's a it's a good concept, but they did it wrong mm, because if right? you if you double tap the D pad like twice, like boom boom, nothing happened. But if you do it like a normal fashion, like you open it and then do it again, that's when it opens the phone. It always so it gets me or killed. the camera. It screws me up all the time. Yeah, it, it like, definitely. I don't think it was one of the best additions, but I think Rockstar really wants to encourage us using the Snapmatic, and that's definitely that's like. YouTube forcing us to use Google uh, Plus. It's well, like, yeah. it's funny. It's here, well, use no, it. It's, and it's funny because you mentioned that, like, Snapomatic doesn't work for half the people anyway. Like, they can't get into their social club account because either I think it's like an age restriction thing or, or something along those lines. And it's funny because, like, people were mad because they can't even take pictures. And, uh, I can take pictures, but I don't, I don't, I never use it because it's, I, I just don't have a, a reason to really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was a good concept, but definitely, I don't know who play tested that Rockstar, but come on, man, come on. <laughs> definitely a good idea. Let's just add, let's force the snap mag down people's throat. And maybe they didn't even notice that people just like up, down, up, down really quick to get their phone out. I always do that. And the first time I did it in single player, I was like, why does my freaking camera keep coming yeah, right? out? I was so confused. I was right? like, all right, like, wait, I just want to get my phone out and I just take some of my camera every well, yeah, time. You, like, like I said, like when you all, when you open up your phone, you always hit up twice and then to the right to go to contacts. So, like, why would they make the most popular and the most popular like series of buttons <laughs> another thing? But anyway, uh, that's just that's like my only major. Well, it's not even a major complaint, but that just annoys the hell out of me, man. It's an annoying. There complaint. There should be an option to turn it off, like to have it. Uh, that'd be on very nice. Like an yeah, that'd be super nice. <laughs> so for you guys, thing. like to be honest with all the things we just covered. In terms of this Flight School DLC and the update and the patch 1.16, overall, patch 1.16, including the update, hit or miss? Miss. I don't know. Awesome. I mean, it's like in the middle because it did, I mean. Listen, it, you can't half strike out. No, it, it's it's definitely a miss. Like, yeah. the trailer looked so cool. Like, And, and I know they probably spent you know, so long on that. You know and why it's the like, trailer looked cool? Because it had explosions mm -hmm. and tits. Probably. Boom. Dude, we're just gonna put that in every single one of our squad right? cast. <laughs> every time we could jump into a new freaking topic, boom, explosions, and then tits <laughs> bouncing. I mean, that's what it was. That was the entire trailer. Yeah, I, I would say <laughs> there was a lot more to it, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that was a big chunk of it. <laughs> no, it was like two seconds. <laughs> 
That's the only part Ross looked at. <laughs> no, Ross was, yeah. Ross was, uh, he just kept going back to that volleyball scene. Yeah, right? yeah he that's abbed, it. I was like, dang, this is my this is my part right this here. This is my scene. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm into right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Rockstar knows their demographic. <laughs> oh my okay, god. So, but yeah, Austin, I think hit or miss. I, okay, honestly, if we waited six or six weeks for this, the longest between DLCs is definitely a miss, just because we were expecting so much, and just it they failed to deliver. So that's that's the only reason, man. Like, yeah, they fit the mod or the update patched. Well, I guess it didn't even patch some of the mods because I've been getting tweets saying there's UFOs. There's back. UFOs everywhere. Yeah, there's like, UFOs oh back. God. I couldn't so believe it. That yeah, that's unfortunate but uh i mean it did it did some good things but yeah overall man waiting six weeks for this basically awesome saying it's a miss yeah kind of yeah i think if time was an issue like if they released it right at the beginning of the month it would have been a little different i think the outcome people wouldn't have been so ups- oh never mind people would still been pissed yeah, yeah never mind well i was gonna i was gonna try to save yeah. you know just be like you know on the bright side, but no, there's there's really no bright side. A lot of people just hated this update. They just said, I mean, well, it's just because it it wasn't it wasn't filling. Like I said, like the other ones, like the other ones gave us so much extra stuff, and a lot of like honestly, a lot of people really do enjoy having so many clothing options and so many, um, you know, like the weapons and everything that are new, because it gives them something else to do. Where you get a new plane that we can't even customize, you know, it's. Okay, I flew it around. Like it's that doesn't last too long, and that's where I think they went wrong with this DLC. Definitely. I think, yeah, and the thing is, like I always say, Rockstar is trying to make GT Online their longevity. This is the, what's going to fund their other games eventually. I mean, yeah, they're making so much money off cash cards and things like that. Where this will definitely fund future games, I mean, GTA, yeah, future GTAs and stuff like that. So. I mean, I can't. They're not purposely releasing bad content. Well, no, I mean, this, they, dude, they this is, well, this was the first one that was kind. Of, well, it, besides the, the, the beach, beach bum. bum, yeah, this is one like <laughs> notch above beach bum, but it's below everything else. And, There'll never be a, another beach bum, <laughs> yeah, right? And uh, and that's what was kind of disappointing. Now, I, I actually saw, and I don't know how true this is, but somebody said that this might have been the first DLC that wasn't from like. Um, I guess cut content like they like you they, mean pre-made yeah, stuff. Pre-made. I I saw that yeah. too. That this was the first one that they actually had to like make Think of. Yeah, and yeah. it was creative as hell. Like it was yeah. a very creative DLC. But it's just when, when you don't give people the ability to customize things, that's when they get upset. And, and mm-hmm. maybe and I mean like maybe if what we were saying is true and. They are kind of, they have like the three guys that we always talk about. We have the three guys working on like the old school, like the DLCs and stuff. And then like pretty much everybody else is focusing on next gen. I could see why, you know, if the DLC was lacking because probably all, most of their resources are going to making next gen heist and, and finishing all that other stuff that they have planned for the future. But still, man, it, it I don't know. It's yeah, just kind of like meh. Like it ugh. was. It, it it didn't fill that that you know GTA Five DLC need that I had in my heart. Like the hipster DLC, I was like, wow, look at all these cars. I get to customize all of them. Uh-huh. There's so many new clothing options. Like, just it was. And that, in my opinion, that was the best one. The hipster. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. What it do you think is the best? One? It was one of the best. best. Yeah. Or highlight. So. Hipster or highlight. I think highlight. It was, hip, it was hipster no. high life or Hi- maybe even like the, for the sure. Valentines because the cars. Zentorno and Masako. You mean the ad the Zentorno and Masako? Those are the two best DLC cars we've got yeah, so far. Yeah, they were. Without a doubt. But, um, I think eventually Rockstar will allow us to customize everything, though. Hopefully. I mean, that would just make so much sense. You just like drive it into a hangar and you just customize yeah, it. I don't know why they don't, know. because like, we've said it before so many times. There's so and there's many, so many god dang hangers so that are opportunities not doing to anything. make money, like actual money. Look at count like I'm a uh, probably a lot of you guys viewing this have no idea, but Counter Strike Go or what is it? Yeah, is that it? Or just even, yeah, Counter Strike yeah, Counter Strike Go or even use Call of Duty. They make bank on all these like skins, skins and stuff. Lo- League of Legends, yeah. same thing. Rockstar could like, do that, they, and then they, yeah, it solves everybody's problem. Car. 
of shark or community and... people can submit their their community designs for their cars like skins that'd I mean, be so yeah. cool but I'm, I'm sure it's it's a lot harder to do than actually say yeah like yeah, yeah we, we can say sure. to do this but it's probably hard sure to is, implement but, man if they want to make money a good way they're making enough money then i think they're making a lot of money right now and they're just trying to figure they're trying to please the masses and it's really really hard as content creators us three know that yeah. it's extremely yeah. hard to please well, the masses please like i said with this dlc uh, some of you guys probably love it you know if you are into flying and, and yeah let us know yeah let us know in the comments what you guys thought and i can't believe we even asked you guys yet but the viewers watching right now let us know in the comment section right this second what you thought of the flight school dlc did you love it did you hate it what were your favorite things about it and what would you wish they added instead of course, heist, casino DLC, things like that. What would you rather have seen than a flight school or um, a patch 1.16 uh, update like this? Well, and then speaking of things like that we wanted to see added, uh, let's talk about the Hydra a little bit. Because this was something that, you know, it was kind of leaked. This was a hot yeah, topic. it was. It was leaked before, I think, by Chrome. We found some code in the game. And everybody's like, dude, if the Hydra comes, that's going to be amazing. And all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it never came. And... A it lot sucks. of people it, were disappointed. It, yeah. Honestly. It sucks because it discredits Chrome, and I don't think it should. Yeah. I well, mean, Chrome has been right so many times, and just because it didn't come out with this update doesn't mean it's not yeah, coming out in the exactly, future. Exactly, because we all know, what was it, the gold paint job that came out before, like, the hipster update or something? Or even even the smoke. The tire yeah, smokes. one of those, it came out before one update, but it never came in that update. It came in the update afterwards, so mm -hmm. you got to realize that, but... um. But honestly, if they added the Hydra in this DLC, like this DLC would have been probably one of the best ones. But uh <laughs> do you think, dude, the Hydra, or would it, it or would can it you have just been expensive? another jet? It does, yeah. dude. Can you imagine how expensive it would have been? The Hydra, that's like, I don't know. That's one of the problems I think a lot of people didn't like about the Besra was that like it's fun to fly, but it's fun to kill people. And yeah, there would be some, you know, issues with Pegasus vehicles. And jets and, you know, killing people, just calling them over and over again. And it would lead to griefing. But at the end of the day, people like to kill other people in GTA. And mm -hmm. that's why I think the Hydra would have been so cool. But uh, but one of the reasons, and you guys can let me know how you think on this. The Hydra, it just wouldn't have made sense in the flight school. I was just about to say that. It would make more sense in, like, a military DLC. I was literally yeah. just about to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you think about it, you know, no, maybe they have, maybe they do have a military planned or a military DLC planned for the future. Because it seemed like from the trailer they have a bunch of outfits. Even and stuff. even the, the the attack helicopter that's missing, yeah. the hunter. Yeah, the hunter. Like the hunter. Yeah, that's still yeah. missing. So like, things are still coming, and we have all these new weapons, um, that will that have been talked about in the past but haven't been released yet, that are already in the game that aren't released. So I think maybe patch 1.17 might be a huge DLC that has, like, a bunch of weapons or, like, maybe even a military DLC. Is there, is there any holidays coming up? No, well, here's the thing. All right, so it's, what, it's September and then October and then November. So September, that's the anniversary of GTA. There has to be something. What do you think they're gonna for do? That. I don't know if it's heist. There, there's going to be an anniversary something. DLC. Yeah, there it, has it's gotta to be. Or a retro, retro DLC. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Let's just say October, um, Halloween. Halloween. And then November, yep. next gen. So, I don't know. I mean, those are just makes sense. some things. But, um, but you know, at this point, <laughs> I guess we just have to wait and see what sucks, man. But... Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait, and that's the thing about Rockstar. You always, they always keep you waiting. They always like yeah, they freaking gave us one <sighs> day, <laughs> Monday. Hey, how you, or the things coming out tomorrow <laughs> with the flight school. But hey, I guess that's what you know Rockstar likes to do. So you gotta that's deal with what it. they do. That's just their thing. Yep. So let's go ahead and move into the next topic: explosions, <laughs> leaked weapons, and tits, <laughs> and tits. Now the tits <laughs> bounce. We get the thermite <laughs> bomb and the flare gun. Yep. So, yeah, so, so you can take this raw. These are like, yeah, I mean, this information came out a few days ago, uh, leaked by a few reputable, reputable guys, Steve Hacker, Chrome Mod, just a few of those guys. Um, and essentially, it was two weapons, one of them being a flare gun and the other one being a thermite bomb. And what instantly came to my mind 
was heist weapons because you would use like a flare gun to either spot something and you would use a thermite bomb, which is essentially short for a fire bomb, and that's used to melt like steel and other heavy metals, which would be like a safe door. Now, so, would, it, would you think like the thermite bomb would be similar to like a sticky bomb, but instead of like exploding, you have to like you have to like physically attach it and then prime it. Okay, so because I saw something that it could be some sort of like claymore type of thing, where. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I haven't actually seen this information, so I, I'm just going off what you guys are telling me here. But yeah, you you like stick it to a wall or like, and it blows. Yeah, I mean, up. yeah, that would make total sense with with heist, especially you know with all the doors and stuff that you'd have to go through. But uh, but I'm not sure about this flare gun. Like, I don't. Why? Like what? Yeah, I guess you use a flare gun for like spotting a target or something like that. Like, I mean, re- like that's really the only thing I know. Because, like, let's see, they have, I think it's the stun gun that was in the game, or that, like, was modded into the right. game. And if they added that, that wouldn't really, I mean, it would just lead to griefing. I don't know really what a flare gun. <laughs> that is a not flare in the gun. section. I would have a lot of fun with a flare what gun, would, though. I mean, would that pretty much be, like, the rocket launcher with fireworks? It'd be like a pistol firework I mean, launcher. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, there's nothing. That's, like, about it. I mean, maybe... But I mean, unless it's did they, I'm trying to think. I don't know if it was in GTA, in the single player or not, but for some reason I'm just like thinking of some mission where like <laughs> they they shot the flare gun in the air and like a helicopter. I don't know, man. I'm, I haven't played the single player. In a I while. mean, it would be cool. Yeah, maybe it was like some indicator. I, I think there's I think there's four. Yeah, like there's four DLC weapons that are found in the code that haven't been released yet. One of them is the scar. One of them is the heavy MG. Yeah. And then these two recent ones being the thermite bomb and the flare gun. I'm wondering though, and I don't even know when these are gonna come out. And that's the thing, like we don't know anything. Like we, we've had the assault rifle and the MG in like the weapons list for a long time. I think like yeah, patch one point oh eight. Patch one point oh eight. Oh, even further. Yeah, Holy so Jesus! Eight patches. Eight patches. Those guns have been in there just chilling. Just like, hey, we, there's guns here, but we're not releasing them because we want to save them for a super special DLC, apparently. Well, what so, do you think the flare gun and the thermite bomb are all about, Garrett? I think that the flare gun is uh, an opportunity to set people on fire. I don't That's know, man. Like, like, I know you can shoot not, in the air, <laughs> like, but like, there's literally no use to a flare gun that I can think of. Really. I made a video about this uh, on, I don't know what day, I think it was Thursday, talking about how like the flare gun is, a flare gun's used when you're in distress. Yeah. Yeah, for like, like spotting and what. Yeah, you shoot in the air, so like either you're in distress or to signal. I don't understand what you can use it for in no. GTL Nine. Like, hey, do you shoot the flare gun? There's a guy here with a bounty that's killing me. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I really can't imagine what it would be used for. Maybe it could be used in a mission for heists. I mean, it's yeah, like, that's the only logical thing I can. Think when you of. think of a thermite bomb and a flare gun. There's no real use for them in GT Online when it comes to actual yeah. gameplay. Just normal gameplay. Like, what are you gonna melt someone's <laughs> car? No, it yeah. wouldn't work. <laughs> so the thermite bomb. <laughs> exactly. So like, you're not gonna just place bombs on someone's Intorno and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna melt your car." <laughs> so there's no real use for the thermite bomb and flare gun in normal GT Online gameplay. But I can see it being used in missions for GT Online heists, so that you know. A part of the mission, you're the sand in a certain area, shoot a flare gun, and then you get picked up by your teammates. Stuff like that, I could see happening. Yeah. That would be cool. Like, and even like the flare right. gun in in just online. I don't well like the uh, the render distance. Like, it probably wouldn't even be that far. Hey, you wouldn't yeah, be able to see so, it. Yeah, it's probably definitely for whether it's heist or just some missions. I don't know. But just let us yeah. know in the comments. Well, I think. Yeah, let us know what you guys think about the newest leaked weapons and what you guys think the other leaked weapons are for the, the assault rifle and the MG that were released so long ago. When do you think those will come out? Let us know in the comments. And with that, let's go ahead and explode, show some tits, and then the male <laughs> stripper leak. So this is probably yeah, well, you know, Austin's favorite DLC leak even, that's I ever been done. I haven't even seen this or heard about it. Oh, you should definitely yeah. listen because I'm pretty sure you would have a raging mm. boner. For this, Austin, because you know everyone knows that you're yep. into dudes, and I'm just kidding. He's not really into dudes. That's totally a lie. But basically, the male 
Super League was recently by Lazy Gamer, and it includes basically, I think, everything you would hear from a female stripper in GTA 5 now in a male's voice. That sounds extremely, extremely <laughs> weird. <laughs> Gay. Uh, I, I yeah, know. to say the least. Yeah, I mean, it is just very, it's very the- disturbing. And if Rockstar opens up the cockatoo club... Yeah, that's club, what I was saying. Like, it probably has something to do with that, because wasn't that <laughs> a thing? Cockatoo yeah. club? Is yeah, that real? That one yeah, the... it's the one where, like, the transvestites yeah. stand outside of. We talked about that what? a couple episodes ago. It was the... God, the I don't listen to transvestite talk. <laughs> God, oh, man. Austin took me there <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's literally, like, a strip club, <clears throat> or it's a club for... Transvestites that pretty much are, are cross dressers. Oh, say. perfect. So, you never seen the cross dressers in, in GTA Online? I have, and this stripper doesn't sound like a normal male. It sounds like what you're describing a cross dresser transvestite. And, like, would they put that in the game? That's just creepy oh. weird. <laughs> It's rock that's not like Rockstar weird. That's like you creepy weird. Know. No, there's that's a difference true. between Rockstar that's weird true. and creepy weird. I don't know. That's uh, that's definitely interesting. I can see them doing well, it. I could definitely see them doing it. I can see it. it. You know. God, they what like goes got, on at that office? They got to appeal like to uh, all audiences. Oh, oh, yeah, all the masses. They're a large demographic of cross-dressing <laughs> yeah, transvestite. I'm sure they would love to see their yeah, group I'm represented sure a... well in Grand Theft Auto. I mean, Austin's a living, breathing advocate here. He's a perfect <laughs> example. He's just, you see, that's why he said they have to appeal to everybody. <laughs> Can't Austin be left, feels out, left out. He's like, my people, <laughs> my, my people. people feel left out. I'm the consultant Rock, for him. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> he put in a special request. In He's fact, like, that's Austin doing yeah. a voiceover, <laughs> little voice mod- <laughs> modification. <laughs> oh man! Dude. Oh gosh! Oh geez! I swear, the squadcast has just been all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> like it's really this is actually one of the I think better squadcasts we've had, just because it's been so funny in terms of this explosion <laughs> and tits, and now male stripper league has just been great. I can't wait to hear the squeak pipe questions. Oh, <laughs> Right. This is gonna be great. This has the potential to be legendary. But anything you want to add really quickly about the male stripper leak? Um, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get off the topic already. Yep. All right. All right. Good lord. Let's go into the fight, so, please. So, yeah, yeah, um, real fight. quick, just want to mention two things. One, definitely go check out our our Squadcast uh, Reddit if you haven't already. We'll leave that link in the description. It's pretty cool because um, we post some stuff on there. But also go follow us all on Twitter so you know or so you know when we actually tweet out. Um, for you to leave a voicemail. Speak pipe stuff. So um, we have a couple questions here. <laughs> oh, and uh, the first one, let me turn my volume up. First one here is from oh, David. God. And let's go ahead and hit play. Please be normal, David. Hey, Saints and Mr. Ross for the win and Jobless Carrot. You know that unfinished building uh, I'm like alive? right in the center in the middle of the city? What do you think it's going to be? And do you think it could have any affiliation with any DLC coming up anytime soon? Thanks. Love you guys. All right. So jobless carrot. That's actually a really what do you good. Think? That that's a really good question. And I'm, he's actually the first person to ever say no, jobless I think carrot. He said jobless so, carrot. Hey. Is that so you make fun of you on the live stream? Yeah, I heard. I'm pretty too. sure that dude, that dude <laughs> watches my live streams. He knows what's up. Because I, I always call Ross Whatever. Mr. Ross for the win, and I always call, we call you Garrett the Carrot. <laughs> Listen, whatever, okay? I don't care. Thank you for the question. But I got a message the other day from someone saying that, you know, that building that is under construction, under construction for like with a year, every man. patch, yeah, with every patch, it's been getting upgraded. I don't know if you guys, has, I don't think so. It's I don't not think that so dynamic. either because it's a part of a bunch of missions. Yeah. yeah. Like, you remember the very first trailer, the only one that had yeah. Michael in it? And he was like, you remember why I moved here? It's the weather or something like that. I thought that building was going to grow over the campaign. Yeah. But that How didn't cool happen. How would it be so. is if, or, or like when Next Gen comes out, like GTA Online progresses like a month or something. Like over real time. time. Yeah. And that building becomes that's, that's what it, built. That's what people thought when, when it first came out. Like, because this is an ever evolving yeah. map, world. right? A world. That's what they had said. Yeah, so, I don't but, know. Oh I well, mean, yeah, I, I guess that's what, just not a thing. I don't know what it could be. I mean, that's that's two. Th- that's one thing they actually got right about L.A. Unfinished buildings. They just didn't get the tra- traffic right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> traffic, traffic in L.A. is horrible, ridiculous. You like need to go two miles. Well, pack your overnight bag. <laughs> You're not getting. Any- 
You're going to be sleeping in your car for a bit. <laughs> yeah. You're never going to get was, there. It was pretty freaking bad. I'll never forget. But let's uh, let's move on to the next <laughs> question. <laughs> but that was so actually Philip here. Really good question. Yeah, that was a good question. Hey, squad, do you think that Rockstar will be implementing any military clothing in, in the next update? Because there was no clothing in the uh, flight school update. Thank you. Love you guys' videos, too. Yeah, so... um. We kind of we kind of talked about that. I think we talked about that for yeah, a military. I don't know DLC, if it's gonna be next yeah. update, but I, I think they definitely are gonna be adding that. It's like why would they add it in the trailer and and not release it, you know, in the future? Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking forward yeah. to the most. The guys that were wearing like the yeah, like, army I kind of knew we weren't gonna the get abs. the abs. Like, come on, it's like that's the abs. Like, working out. <laughs> that's just something that wouldn't make sense, or that probably wouldn't even work on um, the you know. Oh, yeah, current, current gen. gen. So, you know, maybe next gen that would happen, but I don't, I don't think that is a thing. Because I mean, as cool as it would be, it just, I don't know how like going to a gym in GTA Online would like, would that be fun? Yeah, how applicable like, that would be? I don't know. This isn't a real life oh, simulator. You know, I had this discussion <laughs> the other day. It might be, man. Actually, economy, you never know. <laughs> you know all the stuff they're doing, man. It, they're trying to make it real life, apparently. It's a retirement right. simulator. It's a uh, perfect. <laughs> I, don't know. I, uh, do I we have any that, more speak pipes? Yeah, I think that the squeak, one more speak pipe, right. we should be good. Um, yes, we do. Do we have any more? Uh, so Daniel Salvatierra probably said your name wrong, but uh, here's his question. Hey squad, do you think it is possible that GTA Five on next gen and PC will have co-op for single player? I know not all missions do use all three characters, but certain missions do. You think you'd be able to play those with your friends or something like that? You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. I really enjoy listening to all your podcast. And have a good day. Alright. Very, very nice. Hey, thank you, man, for, for all the support. We appreciate it. And uh, what do you think, Ross? Do you think it's going to be a co-op available in the future? And would you like to see it? I would like to see it, but I do not I think so, just because that's never been GTA style. Like, even when they had the ability to Xbox Live and PlayStation Network on the old generation, what mm -hmm. we call it now, 360 and PS3, they didn't do it for Grand Theft Auto 4, so it would be kind of a surprise to see them do it on GTA 5. I think it'd be really yeah. cool. What about you, Austin? It'd be I, really I mean, cool. That's definitely something that's awesome. You know, multiplayer is one thing, but a lot of games, they don't have that co-op thing. You know, I remember, I think it was, shoot, I think it was World at War. That was like, a long time ago, they had a they great, great co-op. Co I love playing campaign. that with my friends because, like, yeah, zombies and and multiplayer is fun, but playing the story with friends and even like a Borderlands or something like that, you know, that's what makes those games the co-op. And yeah, I, I don't know how possible it would be because, like you said, in the you know some of the missions, they may not um, you know have that because not every mission you're playing with all three characters. But I don't know, maybe maybe if like I was thinking, maybe if like there's a way to have it to where, like, three people go into the game and, like, maybe when you start up a mission, like, it's like a, it's like a connected universe and each bot, and each person's like Franklin or Michael or Trevor. I mean, that's probably the only way they could ever do it. The concept is really cool, but it'd be kind yeah. of hard to execute. Well, and even, yep. even the final so well. mission. <laughs> would, you'd, yeah. you'd have to pick yeah, between not, not to give any friends. spoilers. It, it's, it's no, like, no, I, the no game's spoilers. been out for a game's year. Out for a year. If you haven't beaten the game... <laughs> I know what yeah, you right. always complain. <laughs> you spoiled it for me. It's like, dude, beat the game. It's been out for eleven months, <laughs> right? It's like, at this like point, are you serious? You're, not, you're, you're just like, who cares? But um, but yeah, man. That, I mean, so you'd have to choose between friends, <laughs> who you would kill or not. That's like that's like being told the the ending of like the original Ghostbusters came out in, like nineteen eighty. Don't, like, don't ruin it for me, dude. All right. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> don't spoil the Titanic. The ship lives. <laughs> Dude, the, 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 the Titanic just let everybody do the ice bucket <laughs> Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the Titanic <laughs> nominates everyone for the ice that was bucket so messed up. <laughs> That was great, oh, dude. Oh, that's funny, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> but let's go ahead and wrap this Squadcast up. This has been Squadcast episode 25. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do drop a like. Let's get a keyword. Ross, awesome. What do you guys want to be for the keyword? Um... <laughs> Uh, Mail strip. Or, no, um, just make it money. M O N E Y, money. 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 Uh, 
God, yeah, you guys are like so. You guys are so late to I'm like thinking. respond. It's like, mm, let me think about it. <laughs> like, you I want to come up with a good. I started looking around my desk for like two words. I can find it. Wait, so not money? No, money is a good one. Money's good. It, yeah. it works with the strippers. <laughs> All right, money it is. If tits you guys are explosions. doing it, make sure you guys check out everyone's yeah, channel down Neither in the description. Neither money, tits, or explosions. Either tits one or explosions. Oh, that's actually Do any of it. Yeah, money, tits, or explosions. <laughs> we we want to see you guys three. spam. We want to see like a <laughs> yeah. thousand comments yeah, each. For sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's go for, I don't know how many likes, 2,000, 1,000, yeah, a, yeah. a billion. And we'll see you guys next week with another Squadcast episode because this mm -hmm. is every week or tomorrow with a brand new GTA 5 video. Later, guys. See ya.